Awesome. Hello and welcome to Healthier Ever After with Grace and Michelle. Here at Healthier Ever After, we talk about the health and wellness journey. We're going to be bringing up topics that we think are important while we're striving to live our healthiest lives. We'll bring on special guests, each time experts who can answer your questions in real time. Don't be shy and share ideas with us in the comments if you have them. Really excited to be here on World Diabetes Day. I'm Grace Silverio, the Solution Strategy Director for Chronic Conditions with Teladoc Health. And I'm a registered nurse and certified diabetes care and education specialist, really passionate about diabetes prevention, diabetes education and resources, especially for the underserved and underrepresented populations. Awesome, thanks Grace. And I'm Michelle, I'm one of the expert coaches here with Teladoc Health. I may coach some of you, who knows, um, but I specialize in health and wellness coaching. I work within our diabetes, hypertension, and weight, weight management programs. But that being said, today we have a special guest with us. His name is Howie. Howie is a member advocate for Teladoc Health, and he's been using our services since 2017. Howie has been a lifelong, been on a lifelong journey to live his healthiest life ever after, and we want to welcome Howie. Thanks for coming on, Howie. Thanks, Howie. Yeah. So, you know, Howie, we have a few questions for you, and I'm sure the audience equally wants to hear what your experience has been like. Um, and my first question for you is describe what life was like before you found the diabetes management program. What did it feel like? You know, that's a great question. Before the diabetes management program, uh, truly, in some ways, I was lost. You know, I didn't know where to turn. You know, it's just like an information overload. You know, my doctor says, watch your sugar, watch your diet. But I didn't know exactly where to turn. You know, it was like, okay, do I turn left? Do I turn right? Um, before the program, I, I felt like it was almost like a fend for yourself environment to an extent, you know, it's like, I knew I needed to watch my diet. I knew I need to have healthier habits, but where did I start? That was like, I was just really, really just truly lost at that moment before the program. Yeah. And I'm curious, right? It's just, you have this new diagnosis, go fly. Right. So with that, it's extremely overwhelming for a lot of people. I'm curious as well, you know, what were some of the barriers you experienced with even just checking your blood sugar before the program? Oh, I mean, you know, barriers like, wow, one of the things, the biggest barriers was just the cost of supplies. Uh, you know, before the program, it was like, okay, do I really want to use a test strip right now? Do I not? Hmm. You know, I think I feel okay. Maybe I'll skip this blood sugar check. Trying to ration my supply of strips for the amount of time allotted, you know, um, it, it, it's just, I'm just speechless when I think about that, you know, um, it, it's just thinking like, okay, do I have enough? Maybe I have too much. I just can't even describe that feeling other than fear. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Howie, when you think back on when you were um, diagnosed, what did you know about diabetes and where did you get that information from? So, you know, I worked, uh, I still work in healthcare, and, you know, I had a baseline understanding, you know, like, okay, maybe you shouldn't eat as much bread, maybe not as much rice. I, I just knew that food affected my bloodstream. I didn't know a whole lot, but I knew that, you know, without i knew that my energy was going to be impacted i just yeah. i just had a very entry level understanding like okay i need to watch what i eat i just didn't know what to watch yeah so when you did start to seek out some resources within the diabetes management program what was some of the more helpful tools and resources you had available oh my gosh you know what going into the program the my first line of defense i like to call it was the coach the coach, the certified diabetes educator coach that was assigned to me to welcome me aboard to the program, answer some questions, and most importantly, just remind me that it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be scared and that basically the program would be there to uh, be by my side as I navigated each chapter with this new journey. Love that. 
Right. And I love you saying that this new journey, because one of my questions for you is when you started using the diabetes management program, what were some of your aha moments? You know, what were you, you made mention to the coaching, but I'm, other aspects of it where you, something clicked and you were like, wow, I'm not alone in this. What was in there? Oh, one of my aha moments was the fact that I realized like, wait, this is all I can treat. Like, if I want to, you know, check my blood sugar four times a day or once a day or more, I didn't have to worry about it. And, and then I'm just like, wait a minute, I don't have to be scared of how many strips I'm burning through. Like that was like my light bulb when I'm like, wait a minute, I just had a new order of strips show up and I didn't pay anything extra for that. Like, I mean, like it, it just, I still am speechless. Like I've never seen anything like it. Just do I need strips? Say less they come over. <laughs> right. And, and with it too, do you, how did you get the Teladoc health benefits? And was it from your employer? Fill us in there. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that because a few months after my official type two diabetes diagnosis, my employer actually sent a blast email from the human resources department, letting me know about their new partnership saying that for employees that had type one or type two diabetes, was eligible, um, you know, for this benefit, you know, with as part of their benefits package. And I'm like, hmm, okay, let me see what this is about. And, you know, I, I, I reached out through my HR rep at work and the rest is history. That's so awesome. So you were given an opportunity, you jumped on it, right? Which is an amazing thing to do. You have the unlimited strips and I think with that, some of the aha moments other members have mentioned are, you know, the drive and ambition that kind of changes when you have the tools to manage your blood sugars. So for you, you know, how did having extra strips and then unlimited coaching and the learning library, did that kind of change your drive and ambition to monitor your blood sugars? It changed everything. So one of the biggest things that really, um, you know, transcended my hold on my condition was the fact that I realized that, you know what, this is an unparalleled value, you know, so before the program, you know, my copay with a coach, uh, a dietitian was $60 per interaction. It didn't matter if it was 15 minutes or two hours. So I'm like, wait a minute, now I can schedule as many coaching sessions as I want. I don't have to pay any extra copay for it. You know, then I had to pay a separate copay for strips separate copay for lancets and i couldn't refill them quote unquote too soon and now i get all this like the coaching i get the recipes i get guidance i mean my coach literally i had a coaching session last week my coach was like looking at my, my blood sugar log with my meter and she's like okay you know you're exercising let's try eating this let's try eating that you know and i didn't have to feel like, okay, this, this interaction is going to cost me more money. I just, she's like, Hey, reach out if you need me. I'm like, don't worry. I will hit you up. <laughs> don't worry about it. You know, I just, my favorite phrase with this is all you can treat. I, I just, that's my favorite punchline, but just knowing that I could relax easier, knowing that I didn't have to make a decision. Do I want to divert more of this money towards my medications? Did I want more groceries? Or wait, I can have it all. Like, I just didn't have to worry about giving up something to keep treating my diabetes. I, I just, seriously, I still can't believe it. Like, I've got to pinch myself sometimes. I love that. We need that all you can treat, like, on a t-shirt with your face, Howie, or something. I love <laughs> that. <laughs> right? We need to make that happen. Oh my yes. gosh. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, like all you can treat. I mean, you know, I was saving money every time I have a new coaching session. I think of the money that's really paying back to me. I'm not paying for that copay for that interaction, you know, and, and then it's like, you know, my Lavango meter. It's like I can literally go in there and go in the menu and press a button and request a coaching session. And it's like, beep, beep, okay, check your email. And then I click it and I schedule my interaction. Like, I just like, like, I'm just, I just love it. I love it. And if I want to talk to a coach later today, guess what? I'm going to go back on my meter and schedule another session. <laughs> won't cost any extra. Ah, we'd love to talk to you more. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, love that. Um, how are you doing? So good. You've done some, uh, you've accomplished some amazing goals, getting, you know, um, 
living your healthiest and best life. But, you know, lifestyle change is not easy, right? It can be hard. Life happens, it ebbs and flows, motivation ebbs and flows. What has been that driving force for you that keeps you going? What motivates you? Where does that come from? You know, just seeing my family and, you know, like I've got like little, like a little nephew now. He just turned three this summer. And, you know, me, what drives me is just me wanting to just keep myself healthier so I can see my family for a long time and then keeping myself healthier so I can continue to help other people. You know, like I, I truly, you know, like believe like like self-care like this is like a form of my self-care is you know taking care of my health in the respect to the diabetes management and, and my driving force is really just continuing my journey to manage my condition so i can feel my very best so i can live my very best and continue to inspire others too who may be a little apprehensive about navigating this management of this journey yeah no oh, that's awesome i know you have a a a facility that you like to go and and get your workout in that really keeps you motivated. Um, when you're in a rut, how do you how do you get out of that rut? What are you doing? So you know, it, it just depends. You know, sometimes I go to my local high intensity fitness studio. You know, they have like you know friends that work out with me over there. Sometimes, you know what? Sometimes I have scheduled a coaching session just to talk to my Lavango coach. And, and, you know, one thing I love about my Lavango coaches, which I use more than one, they're all awesome. It, it's like, I just tell them like, hey, you know what? I'm feeling a little blue. I've been, you know, eating a little bit more of the not so nice things. And, and, and then it's like, I never feel like I'm being chastised. You know, like my coaching, I remember earlier this summer, I had a little brief period of time when my blood sugar was in an upstream. And the coach was so supportive so nurturing and it was like you know what hey we've been there i know that feeling all too well but let's try this or or how about instead of completely eliminating this why don't you try getting yourself satisfied with a smaller portion so you don't feel deprived and you know at one point at first i was like okay i'm afraid to tell my coach but now i'm like why you know they're my they're like i feel like they're like one of my best friends and and then it's like if i just tell them hey you know i'm not feeling my best maybe i'm in a little rut and i've had a coach that's encouraged me before like hey you know what it's okay you know or going to that high intensity fitness studio and getting the cardio moving you know i've fallen in love with with cardio um it's also helped my blood sugar you know so i mean you know when I'm getting to that rut, I know that I have some tools in my toolbox. I love that. Yeah, you have to be kind to yourself, right? It's going to happen. We we have ups, we have downs. And it's awesome that you know that you have your coach, that you can schedule those one-on-one coaching sessions. But then there's also the ability to ask questions in the app if you don't necessarily have time to pick up the phone and, and schedule a session with a coach. Oh, yeah. Like, like the fabulous Michelle. Right. Hello. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm Howie, I'm curious, do you ever use Message a Coach? Have you used that platform where you can kind of text coaches so it's not always going to have to be one-on-one on the phone? Both are great, but yeah, there I is that option. Before. I mm-hmm. use it before. You know, I mean, I, I prefer a voice interaction, but there have been times totally. I'll just send a message and then, you know, I might be busy and then a coach will get back to me. And it's just so convenient. You know, it's yeah. like really at my cadence, you know, if I prefer a phone call, cool. If I want to message them in the app, cool. Just open the app. Like it, it, it's just the, yeah, it's just really, really convenient to get a hold of someone no matter how I choose. Great. Yeah. And you mentioned something that stood out to me, just the whole point of coaching and, you know, the Teledoc Health program is to meet you where you're at, right? Because One, you found your own motivation. I think you saying that you're not doing it just to lower your blood sugars. You're doing it to stay healthy because you have a five-year-old, you said nephew, who's going to keep you busy, right? And you want to be able to run and play with him. That's so much more powerful than, you know, my doctor said I have diabetes. Now what do I do? Um, But something you did mention with a coach meeting you where you were at. Over the summer, you had a little lull. The blood sugars were high and there's going to be ups and downs, right? Life can be a roller coaster. So I do want to honor that fact and talk a little bit about mental health. You know, living with a chronic condition, it could be stressful. Um, So with that, I am a little curious and it's a vulnerable question, but I appreciate the answer is, has living with diabetes taken a toll on your mental health at times? At times, yes. You know, there were times 
I felt like a failure sometimes, you know, I'm like, here I am, I'm working healthcare, you know, I'm working with dialysis patients, I'm supposed to be their role model. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, Howie, you're just eating this, you're eating that, you're having trouble managing your blood sugar. You know, there were times I was just, you know, emotionally beating myself up. And, 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 you know, sometimes I just kept thinking like, okay, you know, like sometimes I just would be like in a valley and I'm just like, okay, well, you know, like, I would just feel like there was a dark cloud over me at times, you know, and and there were times when I was afraid to to tell someone without fear of judgment. You know, I've had people tell me before who were not well versed on diabetes. They're like, oh, you, I, I have the solution. You just need to just drop eating all of that. You're eating. That's junk. That's junk. That's junk. And it's just so easy to just say you can't have this. But because of the education I have now you know, it's not necessarily always what I'm eating, but how much of it I'm eating, you know, and I've learned with this program that I can still enjoy the sweeter things in my life, you know, as long as I'm cognizant, you know, and I'm aware of how much of it, you know, maybe I don't need the whole pack of that, like that candy that I like to eat, right? Maybe I can eat a third of it. Maybe I can eat a few pieces of it and just satisfy that craving. And I don't feel so deprived. And that way, instead of just you know, relapsing and binging and eating the whole package later, now I can still enjoy it. And I feel like, and I'm still in control. And that's the thing that I love most is that with this program, I feel like I'm now more in control without sacrificing the foods that I, that I love. I can still enjoy them in moderation. Right. Something you said, you're in control. It's your life, right? And that's the whole point of this program is putting you in the driver's seat. And with it too, you know, in terms of, of, just mental health and, and dealing with diabetes. Have you, obviously, we, we've got the coaches here. Have you ever sought out any of your own peer support groups or anything like that? I know that, you know, if there is anyone out there dealing with, with you know, mental health and, and trying to control their diabetes, diabetes distress is a real thing. So sometimes peer support groups can be helpful. Did you navigate any of those avenues? Uh, in some instance, you know, like before, you know, every now and then, you know, we have like a, you know, even at work before in the mm-hmm. past, you know, we'd, we'd have like a little little group. We kind of would text each other. How are you doing? What's your sugar today? Ooh, girl, what you ate last night? You know, kind of thing. <laughs> and, um, you know, and, and then it's like, you know, I've had coworkers approach me before. I remember having a coworker who was recently diagnosed of the other year with diabetes and they had approached me discreetly, of course. And it was like, hey, I just have a few minutes, you know, I wanted to ask you to pick your brain. My doctor recently diagnosed me with diabetes and I'm just so depressed. But I know that you've been using that program that our job offers. I just can't remember the name of it. I'm like, girlfriend, you should have been asked me a long time ago. And I was like, it's Lavongo. And I even helped her. I was like, look, let's get your insurance card out. And I helped her enroll her on the website. It was super easy. It was super mm-hmm. quick. And and now she's in better control of it. You know, we still chat all even today, you know. So Yes, I have kind of like had like a support group, right? But what also drives me is when people come to me, like I feel like at times I can be a subject matter expert now, you know, and it motivates me and it makes me feel good that people, you know, are inspired by my journey with this. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, Howie, I mean, that is the goal, right, to empower. We want to empower our members to have the knowledge, the education, the resources, the support to live their their healthiest life. And and you've done that. So thank you so much, Howie. Really appreciate this time with you. Appreciate you sharing with us very much. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm just so honored. And, you know, if you're watching this live stream, whether you're newly diagnosed with type one or type two diabetes, or if you're someone who's been a seasoned player in the game, (laughs) just know that you're not alone. And, you know, this program can help you thrive. And it's done that for me and so much more. So thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's listened and tuned in today. Be sure to check back with us to find out uh, what we'll have at our next live event, which is coming in January next year. Until then, don't forget to reach out on our social channels, leave a topic that you'd like to hear us discuss next time, uh, and our healthier ever after. So thank you so much. Yay. Thank you, Howie.